cars all the time, car search engine. I'm G, your host. And I am KK, your co-host. And we've got another concept car for you now. It is called a Chevrolet Aerovet. Take a look at this car, would you? Wow, look at that car. Okay, beginning life as an experimental project, number XP882, in the late 1960s. Using a transverse mounting of its engines. Engineers originally built two. Did they build two? Actually built two pro prototypes during 1969. Right, yeah, that's what I thought, they built two. Chevrolet's general manager canceled the program, believing it, it to be impractical and, co and costly. However, when it announced plans to sell the concept car through dealers, DeLorean ordered that one XP882 prototype be cleared, cleaned up for the display at the 1970 uh, car show. 1972, DeLorean authorized further work on the XP882 chassis and gave it a new project code, XP895, whatever heck that means. Wow. And was constructed and became the Reynolds aluminum car. Two of the rotary engines were joined together as a four rotor, 420 horsepower engine, which was used to power the XP895. The XP895 was first shown in the late 1973, another Corvette concept, XP897. Wow. GT. GT. Also appeared in 1973, which used two rotor engine. However, the energy crisis of that time, GM had scrapped their rotary development work and all the plans for the this power of a car. So uh, the XP897 GT two rotor concept was sold to Tom Falconer and fitted with a rotary engine in 1997. 1997, wow. Yes. Uh, in 1976, the four rotor engine was replaced by a 400 cubic inch Chevrolet V8 and the concept car was named Aerovet. Aerovet. Yeah, and, and approved for production for 1980. The Aerovet featured double folding doors. The production car would use 350 cubic inch and will be priced between $15,000 and $18,000. However, after chief supporters of Duntoff, the main designer, had retired, and David McClellan decided that a front mid-engine car would be more economical to build and would have better performance and cancel the Aerovet program entirely. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, oh, man, 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 what a baby. <laughs> which, okay, compared to the front engine, which ultimately determined the Aerovet's fate, further contributing to the termination of production plans. It's another concept car gone by the wayside. <laughs> I'm G, your host. And I am Kelly, your co. We're out of here. See ya. Yeah.